In this video, we'll go over the filter method of JavaScript arrays. The filter method calls a provided function once for each element in an array. And it'll create a new array of values uh, on which the called function returns true. So if it returns false, uh, those items will not be included in the new array. So I'll create a new variable called result and then apply filter function to uh, our AR variable which contains this array from 1 to 10. So now filter uh, requires a callback function. So I'll provide it is more function which I have created here. And then filter will pass in the first uh, parameter as the value that you see in the array. And the second parameter will be the index and that optionally third parameter you can also get the array uh, to which filter is applied. So in this case the ARR array. However, I will not use index and array uh, in this example. I'll just use values. Uh, this is just so you know there are these two uh, parameters as well. So what this does is it just checks if the provider value is more than or equal to 2. So uh, filter will call is more for each value of this array and pass those values and whatever values pass the test it will put inside result. Now since I'm checking if the value is more than or equal to 2 uh, this is the only value which will fail. So the new array should be from 2 to 10. So let's, let me print out the result after filter is applied. Okay so use this should uh, print out 2 through 10. So if you open it in your browser you should see the expected result. As you can see it gave 2 to 10. Now if we modify this and let's say I put a and uh, value is less than 5. So it will only uh, give true for values from 2 to 4. And since the rest will uh, return false from is more those won't get included in a result and this time it should only display 2 3 and 4 so if you save and open in your browser again you should see 3 2 3 4 as the result so as you can see this is the result so that's pretty much it for filter method of javascript arrays all it does is apply whatever function that you apply to it uh, and if that returns true it will include that value in the final array that it creates so if you have any question or comments do leave a comment if you have liked this videos then uh, remember to subscribe thank you